All right, so uh, next video is really just about, this video is going to be about showing you how to go about doing the research, and I'm going to show you a couple of little tricks in Google Sheets while we do it. All right, so the first things first, I'm back to my project. Um, we've done name of college, city, state, public, private, miles from home, and application due date. So now I'm going to look up cost of tuition. You can always look up cost of tuition on that um, that fast facts guy, but I actually wanted to show you some of the other websites. So the first website I'll go to is this website, this first one, um, the College Navigator website, which is sponsored by the National Center for Education Statistics. And this has lots of information about all sorts of colleges. So I can type in the name of the school, Syracuse University, press enter, and up it pops right here, so I can click on it. And I can see lots and lots of information. So for example, that it's a four-year private institution. It's not for profit. Um, the types of degrees they offer, the campus setting, etc. So I'm looking for the cost of tuition. So if I look down here, I have lots and lots of information. And if you click the plus sign, you'll get the information you want. So I'm going to look at tuition fees and estimated student expenses. And up pops the student expenses. So um, tuition and fees, you can see how much they've gone up from year to year. So for 2014-15, it was $41,886. You can copy and paste that. By the way, on a Mac, if you want to do that, you would hit Control, which is in the lower left-hand corner. You can hit Control and click your mouse, and you can copy it. Or you can just type it. Um, go back to our spreadsheet, and I can hit um, Control. V, oh, excuse me, um, you can hit Command V for paste. Um, the command key is right next, right to the left of the space key, and there's the cost of tuition. All right, our next column, let's look at our project requirements here. Cost of room and board. All right, so I can go and put that into my spreadsheet, the cost of room and board. And notice um, it's already too big to fill in that cell, so I can expand the column, put my, put my mouse between H and I, uh, click the mouse, stay clicked and drag, and it'll drag. Perfect. All right, I will go back to um, my Navigator website because I have this open living arrangement on campus. I have room and board right here, $14,460, so I can select it. Press Command C for copy. That's another shortcut. If you press Command and C, Command and C at the same time, it'll copy it. And I can go back to my spreadsheet. And I can paste it. And voila. And it actually pastes it with the dollar sign. I'm going to show you in a different video how to get the dollar sign for numbers, if they're, if they're dollar amounts. But for now, this is OK. All right. Now, as you might have noticed, if we move to the next column, because the screen isn't wide enough, my college has disappeared. Now, obviously, we're working on Syracuse, but I want to show you my finished product. And my finished product, uh, if I was scrolling over here and I wanted to look up distance from home, I don't even know what college is 1,100 miles from home or which college is 112 miles from home. So there's actually a way we can freeze the first column so that this column never moves. And here's how you can do it. So I'll go back to my spreadsheet. I'll go back to the column. I'll click the A in the column. And I would always like to view this column. So I'm going to go back to my menu up here. And I'm going to click View. And I'm going to hit Freeze. And I'm going to hit one column. By the way, remember columns are up and down. You can remember that by the L in the word column. It goes up and down. Um, the Roman columns, up and down. Okay, click. And now you'll see that between A and B, there's kind of a thicker gray line. That means that column A is frozen. And I can scroll. And now, no matter where I scroll, A is frozen. It literally will not move. So this is good. Now I know I'm working on Syracuse. So column I is going to be... Um, you can choose ACT or SAT math 25th percentile. I am going to choose um, ACT 
doesn't matter, whichever one you're doing. I'll put ACT math 25th percentile. And I can go back to that Navigator website and, and look this up. This would actually be under admissions. And you might have to play around with some of these tabs to see where, they, where things are. Admissions, it gives you um, lots of information, including what's required for admissions. We can scroll down and find test scores. You can even see how many kids applied with using which test score. So here's ACT math. Uh, for the 25th percentile, a 24 was required. And by the way, just so that you understand what a percentile is, what that means is that 25% of the kids who applied to Syracuse had a 24 for their score or less. All right? And you can be, you're going to be researching these other categories, so I'm not going to do all of them with Syracuse. But what I am going to do is I'm going to look at some of these other websites that I gave you. So number of undergraduate students. So I will go into my spreadsheet. I'll type number. I'll do the number symbol of undergrads to make my columns a little smaller. You can always abbreviate. And I'm going to go to collegedata.com. Okay, just another website. I can type the college I want to search in here, Syracuse University. I can search. And I will come down here. And it says, it actually says the size 15,097. And there's lots of stuff here, but I'm going to click Syracuse, and it's going to give me even more information. You know, the Internet's great, but you know, there's so much information out there, you kind of have to know how to look at things. And it gives you an overview, admission, money matters. It can even calculate your chances of getting in. Apparently, they collect data on what types of college, uh, students the college is actually admitted. Anyway, we can go down here, and we were looking for number of undergrads, and it says it right here, 15097. So I'll put that in. 15097. Excellent. And um, so I want to get find out the percentage of students accepted. So I'm going to go to my spreadsheet, type in percent of students accepted. Or I'll just put percent accepted. Okay? And I'm going to use the other website just to show you the variability between the websites. CollegeSimply.com. I'll click it. I'll click it. And it's going to open up a tab. There it goes. I don't know why that took so long. Okay. So um, here on this website, this is sort of like, this sort of website works backwards. It almost starts with your test scores and gives you colleges suggestions. So if you're stuck on which colleges to even look at, this is a great website. But anyway, I'm going to click this little search navigator here. And I can... Um, I can search by SAT scores. It's pretty cool. You can search by GPA. You can search by college size. Um, I actually wanted to search by name, but that's okay. We can do this backwards. We can go to location. I can go to New York. Find my college matches. And um, it'll show you lots and lots of colleges in New York. And I can go down and find Syracuse, which shouldn't be too far down. Here it is, Syracuse. And um, we were looking up percent accepted. According to this website, the percent accepted was a 51% acceptance rate. 51. All right, awesome. So what you're going to be doing um, now is you're going to be working on this for seven different colleges. I am going to make more videos about how we're going to format um, and teach you some tricks in Excel, but I did want to show you the um, how to kind of do this research.